A World Without Water. The video A World Without Water is a documentary that seeks to discuss the global challenge of water governance, a resource that is slowly becoming very scarce for the most of the poor across the globe and in some areas rather inaccessible. The documentary covers all regions of the world, from Asia, US to Africa, bringing common nuances about how water is becoming a big corporate business, often not advantageous to the poor. Thousands of people face problems related to access to water, from the remote areas of Latin America to Africa. In some countries, water was snapped up by multinationals, which make poor people's lives even harder. In countries where the state is not capable to provide better water supply services, multilateral organizations and corporate made it possible that governments opened up opportunity for privatization of water supply services. Whether in developed or developing countries, water scarcity is leading to three common features. Popular discontent, illicit and lawful business, and conflicts that might escalate to international levels with the involvement of the multinationals. Written by Brian Woods, the, water, the World Without Water is an enterprise that brings together stories from different corners of the world into a single one. Its objective is to raise awareness about the need for the world leaders to work in coordination in order to improve and increase access of clean water to people around the globe. In relation to the out of bias, well, it is clear in favor of a better ethical governance of water, both from an economic perspective as well as from social dimension. The way the author organized the story gives an impression that he wanted to present a global message to a global audience in a way that every viewer could come to an exact same understanding by bringing indigenous real-life stories into play. The author fulfilled these communication objectives. However, David McDougall reminds us that the inclusion of indigenous narrative always raises the question of whether the film is making indigenous statements or merely absorbing advice into its own narrative strategies. And this is what just happened into the, in, the, in this documentary. It is plenty of example and, examples and voices from across the world that tries to reinforce the author's core message and also creates a sense of urgency as proposed by Nicholas Skypes and, Skypes and colleagues. Well, with regard to the great, great calling, well, this documentary is most conspirational, conspiral of the two I've viewed. It attempts to link the neurological diseases to eating habits, especially at fluoridating water. Furthermore, it connects the fluoridating process to big business, which, if proven, would constitute a major crime. To this end, the documentary is the most conspiratorial uh, of the two I viewed. It attempts to link the neurological diseases to eating habits, especially at fluoridating water. Furthermore, it connects the fluoridating process to big businesses, which, if proven, could constitute a major crime. To this end, the documentary draws on interviews with several scientists and professionals and in the end, it comes to the conclusion that fluoridating water is one of the strategies corporate use to get rid of it uh, without paying taxes. The authors are totally biased towards fluoridating of water, and all they do in the documentary is to try to prove that. There is no effort in this documentary in trying to get different opinions other than the ones that go with the author's main storyline. Despite scientists' unbeatable arguments, there are, however, hidden information that could help in better understanding the contours of fluoridation and the damage it has to health. For example, the author does not clarify to what, to what amounts fluoride, fluoride consumption could become harmful to human health. Chris Marple, however, managed to weave a strong argument around which it appeals for an urgent need for action. This is where they succeeded. However, should there be another documentary with the totally opposite arguments, the arguments proposed in this documentary could be seriously jeopardized. In conclusion, 
a lot to comment that despite being useful, the documentary is extremely biased in such a way that people are not led to come to their own logic conclusion. Thank you for watching.